So today we should discuss about sets. What is a set? A set is a well defined collection of objects. For example, if I say we have set is denoted by this capital letter A, which is having the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. And in this set, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are just finite elements. In the same way, I can denote a set with the names, for example, the set B, which is having Raju, Shivam, Ravi, etc. Raju, Shivam and Ravi. So this is the set B which is containing a well defined collection of exactly three objects and these three objects are the names. In the same way, we can have a set for example C which is containing some characters A, B, C. We can have a set D which is a combination of some characters as well as some numbers. Right, so these are the four sets and these four sets are well defined collection of objects and these well defined collection of objects does not necessarily mean that they should be ordered. These objects can be unordered at the same time. So next definition is a null set. Next definition is a null set. Null set is generally denoted by phi. Right, so what is a null set? It is a set which is containing no elements. If I am saying it is a set which is containing which is containing which is containing no elements it is a set which is containing no elements if I denote a null set like this we denote a null set like this or we also denote a null set like this but if we denote a null set like this then it what does it mean it means it is a set which is containing one more set and that set is a null set right you can say it it is a set it is a set which is containing which is containing which is containing a null set which is containing a null set right so that means when I'm saying this which is a set which is containing null set then it is not equivalent to phi because phi itself is denoting null set okay now next is what is a power set what is a power set power set for example we have a set a which is containing the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 then what is a power set of a power set of a is a set which is a set of all the subsets of the set a for example what are the set of all the subsets uh, the first set can be phi phi is a subset of a in the same way we can have a set with single element we can have a set with two elements we can have a set with uh, this 1 comma 2 comma 3 we can have a set which is containing 1 comma 2 we can have a set which is containing 1 comma 3 we can have a set which is containing 2 comma 3 at the same time we can have a set which is containing 1 comma 2 comma 3 right so what is a power set it is the set of all the subsets it is the set of all the subsets now if I am saying subset then what is a subset if I declare define what is a subset for example if there is a set A which is containing 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 then if there is a set B which is containing the elements 1 comma 2 then I can say that B is a subset of A I can say that B is a subset of A so these are very basic definitions let me define it again if I am saying we have a power set then we can say if any subset of A which is not a trivial uh, okay uh, if you have a subset, subset, subset means if every element of A is also an element of a set B then A is called a subset of B right for example again here in this case if every element of B is also an element of A then you can say B is a subset of A what I am saying is if every element of the set B of the set B is also an element is also an element of set A then we can say that B is a subset of A then we can say that B is a subset of A but here in this case you can see we are not putting any kind of restriction on A that means the set A can contain more than these elements 
right it, it can contain the element 3 it can contain the element 4 in the same way if again i can say this is a set c which is containing 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 in this case then every element which c is containing all those elements are also a part of the set a so 1 is also there in a 2 is also there in a 3 is also there in a and 4 is also there in a so we can say c is a subset of a at the same time in this in this special case a is also a subset of c a is also a subset of c now if i say we have a set d which is containing the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 here i cannot say that d is a subset of a why because the set d is containing an element 5 which is not present in the set a so we cannot say that d is a subset of a at the same time we cannot say that a is a subset of d why because the set a is containing an element 4 which is not present in d therefore a is not a subset of d right so these are very basic definitions now here you can see in the case of power set as i said that power set is a set of all subset of a particular set the set of all subsets of a particular set in this case you can see we have a set phi phi is a set of all the sub of all the it is a subset of all the sets we have a this uh, set which is containing only one single element one so this one element is also present here therefore it is a subset this two is also present here therefore it is a subset this three is also present here therefore it is a subset if there are one comma two then one comma two is also present here therefore it is a subset one comma three one comma three both are present here therefore it is a subset two comma three both are present here therefore two comma three is a subset one comma two comma three all are present there therefore it is a subset now if i can say the cardinality of a set a cardinality if i say the cardinality of a set a cardinality means the number of elements if the cardinality of the set a is n then the cardinality of the power set of a will be 2 raised to power n will be 2 raised to power n what is the cardinality cardinality means what are the number of elements if i am saying the set a is containing three elements then the power set of a is going to contain 2 raised to power 3 that means 8 elements so how many elements are there this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 and this is 8 therefore the power set of a is going to contain 2 raised to power 3 that is equal to 8 elements okay i think this is very si simple and trivial definition now the next definition which we are going to study here is the definition of a proper subset is a definition of a proper subset so proper subset is generally denoted like this and a subset is generally denoted like this so what is a proper subset a subset which is a subset which is not equivalent to that particular set for example if i am say saying a is a set which is containing 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 this is a set b which is containing 1 comma 2 in this case b is a subset of a at the same time b is a proper subset of a b is a proper subset of a but if i am saying this is a set c which is containing 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now this set c is a subset of a it is a subset of a at the same time c is not a proper subset of a c is not a proper subset of a so what is a proper subset so any subset a which is not a trivial subset any subset which is not a trivial subset of that subset then it is called as a proper subset okay fine so these are some basic definitions now let us look at some more definitions related to this set theory uh, 